All right, so we're going to take a look at the new space for the trains. So this is uh, down in the basement here. Got a little tin sign I picked up on Amazon uh, down to the trains. This is all brand new renovated space. And at the bottom of the stairs here as you're coming into the room, I just got one of the dealer signs. Uh, Welcome to the world of line electric trains. And then if I uh, just pan around here, this is the new space. So this was a basement, it was wet and uh, very dark, dirty. Um, had water problems with water coming in during heavy rains or hurricanes, things like that. And so um, we basically gutted the entire space and then uh, completely renovated it. Um, you can see now it's a uh, clean, bright, completely dry space. It's about 25 by uh, 26 feet. Um, you can see down here we've got some uh, commercial carpeting on the floor. Over here behind the furnace we built a workspace uh, to work on the train. So we got an eight foot uh, bench here. We've got some uh, cabinets below and above it. Um, and then uh, plenty of power over here. We got two 20 amp outlets for anything we need to be working on as we're working on here. We got some under cabinet LED lighting, which is completely adjustable. We can dim it up and down depending on how bright we want it. So we got two of those under under each cabinet here. Uh, we did put up a TV on the hanging on the wall there just for watching videos and things like that. So here is uh, some things I've been hanging on the wall. This is a 1970s uh, dealer clock. Um, found this one, mint condition, beautiful. Uh, really hard to find these when they're not cracked or broken or yellowed and not working. So uh, really cool uh, thing to be able to have in the room. So that was really nice to be able to pick that up. I uh, picked up a Lionel stool, so I can use that uh, while I'm working on my trains on the workbench here. Got a couple other signs that I picked up along the way. And of course, I've got all this uh, wall space, so I plan to put some uh, shelving for displaying trains over here, and then plenty of wall space up and down the stairs, etc., for uh, just more train related uh, things I can hang on the wall. So. Got tons of things that I can start looking for at the different shows in New York and things like that to be hanging on the walls. Did put in plenty of power when we uh, renovated the room. So there's uh, two 20 amp outlets on this side of this column and over here you can see there's another uh, two outlets 20 amps and then across the room on the other side directly across from it we also have uh, three 20 amp outlets over here so we got plenty of power that we're going to need down here got a couple other dealer signs hanging on the wall lighted dealer signs these are all linked in with the overhead lighting so when we turn off the lights to the room everything goes off um, over here we have the uh, sump system that was put in so I had uh, in order to prevent the water from coming into the room there's a underground uh, drainage system that was put in below the slab actually rests on the footer this has three sump pumps in it, so it's a triple backup system plus battery backup. <clears throat> and the whole house is on a generator in case the power goes out. So basically there's a channel running underneath the slab here that uh, collects any water that might try to come up from underneath the slab or any water that comes through the block in the walls and tries to get through. And you can see here is one of the ports that goes down in, into the, uh, the drainage system. But basically it's kind of impossible for water to get into the, the basement now because it immediately, whether from below or from the, within the walls, goes right into the uh, drainage system and then right out the sump pump. So this room is now completely dry. We've had major rainstorms and hurricanes and not a drop of water has entered in here. And if you look over here, you can see right now uh, 
we're at 27% humidity. Of course, we're in the middle of winter right now, so obviously that's going to go up when it gets to be summer, but even uh, when we put this in last year during summer, the humidity didn't rise above like 40%, so I think we're good. Uh, all brand new heating, air conditioning, and hot water, plumbing, everything's all brand new down here, so we don't have to worry about having to repair anything once the layout goes up. I did put a little sink back here so I could use it for washing paint brushes and things like that when I'm working on the uh, layout. And then um, above here we've got LED lighting on both sides of the uh, room. So this is all uh, LED can lights that are about 100 watt equivalent each. And I did put them on actually four separate circuits. so. Uh, I can actually turn off half of the lights on each side. That's one circuit. And then if I want to turn off the other side, I can turn it off completely. Or I can also dim it up and down so it's, they're on dimmers too. So I have total control over the lights and I have four circuits, two circuits on each side of the room basically. And then at the top of the stairs is a master switch that controls all four circuits. So I can just turn it off quickly as I'm leaving the room and everything goes off all at once. And the lighted dealer signs that I have here. Uh, we installed outlets right where they were going to go so that we don't have to run cords and then those outlets are linked into the lighting system so basically uh, they all go off when you turn off the switches which is really nice. So you can see here I got some other some more wall art that I picked off at the Lionel store. It's one of the 1926 catalog cover uh, canvas print. <coughs> And it's just a, a wide open warm space. Uh, it's not the biggest space in the world, so my layout's not going to be gigantic, but it will be a nice size. And uh, you can see on the floor here, I've sort of laid out some of the basic um, shape I'm going to be using. I think I'm going to be using them. I haven't made a final decision yet. I did buy a uh, Mian Benchwork lift gate, which I had planned to put right around this section, which will let me into the middle of the layout. So. I think I'm going to expand this a little more uh, and expand it over more towards this side a little more so I can get more of an indent there in the layout to work on it. But the one thing about my layout that I think is going to be different than a lot of the uh, online ones I see in the form is it's not going to be around the room because I need to have the depth on the layout for all the operating accessories I'm going to use. And that's one thing. Operating accessories takes a lot of space and they need a lot of straight uh, runs for them and I have a lot of them like the coal tipple and the culvert loaders and the barrel loaders and you know pretty much almost all the accessories Lionel's been making over the years and I really like the operating accessories so I want to have them on my layout and so because I want to do 072 curves and also have all these accessories I need the depth so it will require me either um, crawling on top of the layout or creating a bunch of access hatches to get to some of these sections for sure but I think that's uh, the way I'm gonna have to do it because I laid sort of the track plan out on the floor and that's kind of where it came to so that's why it, it looks like this so it's my first layout it's uh, something I've been dreaming of since I was 10 years old to have a space to have a permanent layout so finally it's it's here and the house is finally finished, everything's been renovated, and I have this big space, and now I'm going to try uh, this weekend to start the bench work. So um, we'll see what it turns out to be. It's going to be a work in progress. I'm sure I'll make some mistakes with it, but it's nothing that can't be corrected if that happens. And then uh, under the stairs here, we did create a whole bunch of uh, storage space. So this was all wasted space, and I decided to uh, build all this uh, custom uh, storage units underneath it and all these panels basically come off and so you can uh, uh, put things in there there's all kinds of shelving inside in the back of those where you can put it when I built these oak stairs and basically um, once I get all the wood down here the plywood etc for the bench work and it's all built then we'll put a railing on here uh, but right now there's no railing we left it off because it, it, you can see at the bottom here it's a tight curb so to try to get a big piece of plywood down here would be really difficult uh, with having the railing on there. So for right now it's off, but that will be, you know, taken care of as soon as I get the bench work built. And then uh, 
you can see I have all this space. Uh, I don't know if you probably can't see it too well in the video, but this is uh, fiberglass uh, reinforced panels uh, that I have on the walls here. So again, behind these panels is a rubber proof coating that went on the block first and uh, it prevents any moisture from coming into the room and any moisture that would be back there actually goes right down into a channel that you can't see behind the baseboard but that channel actually goes directly into the underground drainage system so that any water that might actually get through the block would actually go down and then into that drainage system too so um, like I said, we've had some major storms and uh, it's absolutely dry down here. And the best part about it is these, this carpeting that's down here. These are actually commercial carpet tiles. And if so, if one gets damaged, um, they're easily uh, pulled up and then uh, put back down. It's using a semi-permanent adhesive, which is really nice. And uh, so they're easy to get up if you needed to. but. While they're down, they don't move at all. You can drag things across them. They won't shift or move. I've vacuumed this multiple times. Nothing has moved or come up. So I got these at Home Depot. And the whole room was about $1,300 to get all the carpet tiles. Plus I got a couple of extra boxes. And then uh, the adhesive was like another 100 or so. Uh, and it's rolled out very thin, almost like uh, paint. And that's really all you need. And it goes down really easy. So. This is my new space and uh, you know I'll be doing uh, my next video will be of the actual bench work and um, once the bench work goes up then we'll actually start laying track so I'm pretty excited that we're getting to this point finally after many many years of dreaming of it since I was a little kid and uh, stay tuned and look for other